What's going on Gemini? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for the next three months, October through December 2022. In this reading, Gemini, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides regarding the next three months, October through December 2022. Before we begin this reading though, Gemini, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading, and I really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, Gemini, definitely smash that like button, subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. That would also be greatly appreciated over here, Gemini. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pull the energy and see what wants to come through for you for the next three months, October through December 2022, Gemini. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Gemini. Gemini, let's go ahead and lay out these cards and see what is coming your way. All right, Gemini, very interesting energy. What I am sensing right off the bat is definitely a lot of cooperation with other people in your life. For some reason, for the next three months, I, I sense in love, also in your career, a lot of cooperation with individuals. It almost is like there's a the overall general energy in your life reads like a lot of cooperation, but basically um, it's not to the point where you're expanding as, as, as much as you could be. So for a lot of you, I really don't want to sound weird when I'm saying this. I really don't, but it's very important and I'm getting what I'm getting, which is almost for the next three months, it might be a farewell for some of you with certain soul family members. Like you're just you're ending it on a very good note with some of you. So if you if if what what's happening that I'm seeing is unexpected smoothness, unexpected it's like all cylinders are firing very um very well. Like everyone's everyone's cooperating, but it's almost like towards December that's going to change and you're going to be out on another quest. But what I'm getting right off the bat is that they say that in order for for anyone in this reality to really grow. You need to have a challenge in front of you that excites you that's just a little bit more than what you're used to doing so it pushes you out of your comfort zone but not so much that it overwhelms you. What you're going on, what you're having right now in your life, especially more so like in October, is you have a situation where it's going smooth because it's below your, it's below the level that would actually push you to expand and expand and expand. So. I, I I know that I'm just ranting, but it is what is coming through. So we have the hanged man here, Gemini, as your opportunity for the next three months. This is definitely to be open to surrender to certain truths about your life that may be a little bit inconvenient, that may be a little bit troubling to the ego is what I'm getting. So the hanged man also sacrifice, you know, maybe sacrificing something that no longer serves you. The hanged man is someone, there's an opportunity to really look at something willingness. You know, the difference, like the hanged man is a willing energy. The person that's hanging upside down here, um, they basically are willingly staying there because you're interested in a higher ideal. Um, there's something about the frequency of, of uh, valor. You know, valor is some sort of 
deed where you sacrifice your being for for a higher ideal. In the Middle Ages, we would have you know sacrificing your life for the king. In modern day awareness, especially for a lot of people who are who will resonate with the frequency that I'm giving off in these readings, you're meant to sacrifice your life for a higher ideal. Okay, and that's what's going on here. So something like that. You also have the Queen of Wands here, Gemini, in your challenge for the next three months. So with the Queen of Wands being in your challenge, I do sense a lack of a little bit of expansion when it comes to you. Um, a lot of you may be giving a shit what people think, or you may be attached to a situation, once again, that doesn't really push you beyond your comfort zone. We're going to have to clarify. Some of you may be dealing with a literal woman, a fire sign that may be challenging you. This could be a partner or something like that. Um, we're going to have to clarify that one, but here we go. In your overall general energy, it actually is a, once again, I'm sensing smooth sailing for the rest of the three months overall. So you have the temperance card, you have the six of pentacles, and you also have the world here, Gemini, for your overall general energy. Definitely you're due for an upgrade. Um, you're definitely going to be smoothing things out. I get a lot of, once again, cooperation in your life, you know, as this, this is kind of a predictive spread and I, I get smoothness. Also the world card being here, the world is a very interesting frequency that I'm getting for you specifically where it's almost like there's um, almost becoming a master of the physical world is going to require you to enter into a new level of your life to where you're a little bit scared. It's, you know, fear is the great indicator, Gemini. And basically you've created a wonderful aroma. You've created a wonderful atmosphere in your life. But if you start to run into problems or boredom or apathy or feelings of like, uh, like things are just, you know, the queen of wands in your challenge, like you're not expanding enough, you're not being your raw, you're, because a lot of you think you know who you are when you're just, you're just, basically you mastered one level of the game, the video game. I'm getting like, especially by December, you're entering into a whole new level of the video game that we call life. Okay, so you think you know who you are, but I'm telling you, there is so much expansion for you, it's going to be amazing. Um, we're going to have to clarify to get more details about this, but like, if you're trying to like do something new with your business, I really get that like going good for you. Um, in what you don't see coming, you have the strength card, you have the page of pentacles and you have the 10 of wands here. I definitely do feel when it comes to your work for the next three months, Gemini, there's going to be a new endeavor that may feel like it's a little bit of a hit to your ego. In other words, like whatever you have going, whether you're working somewhere, you've built a business, you may have to put less time into it because you're doing this new thing. And to the outside world, it may look like, well, what's Gemini doing? And you're going to have to have the strength to go with the higher self instead of caring what these people think about you. That's why the queen of wands is in your challenge actually it makes sense. Now you're going to have to really audit your life and be like, what, you know, the page of pentacles to the 10 of wands, this is a new physical direction that might feel very overwhelming to you, but deep down, you know, that it's what you need to do. The problem is, it's not that like you're incapable of taking the action to do it, to push yourself to that beyond your comfort zone, that sweet spot, what I'm talking about. The problem is, is your, <clears throat> how do I say this? Like <sighs> the problem is, is like the strength there's some sort of, I'm not saying that you're not strong enough to do it. It's more so taming down the ego because once again, this has been a theme for you over the last readings of like, there's this idea of like, when you make a change, there's going to be people who are like, what are you doing Gemini? Because I feel like for a lot of you Geminis out there, I do want to say congratulations because you have not really, I understand some of you might be lonely, but for a lot of you, you've surrounded yourself with very high quality soul family members and you don't really want to lose that. And I'm not saying you have to lose that completely, but there's going to be a change here. Page of Pentacles as well. You're getting to work on something, a lot of something big. Like some of you might be Gemini. You might be like um, doing a project that really seems like uh, over the top. So if that's the case, what I would say, like let's say, for example, you're writing a book. Some of you are doing something that's going to require strength to take a new step in the physical reality. Like the biggest mistake that people make, and I hope you're paying attention, is very important. If you have a big goal, people get lost in the idea of, of, of attaining a big goal and they neglect day-to-day -day responsibilities that lead to that end goal. This is Let me give you a solid example of what I'm talking about. I had a goal to get to 100,000 YouTube subscribers for quite a long time. And in the early beginning of the journey for me, it was, 
I was so overwhelmed by that number and like only gaining like such little growth that I couldn't even focus on what I needed to do. So like, let's say you're writing a book or like, let's say you're tackling a new creative project or you're moving into a new career. Cause I feel like that's what you're doing. You need to just put your blinders on and do what and get dopamine from checking off little things that lead to the big goal instead of being like the big goal. It's so unattainable. It's like, no, just get to work. Right. Um, that's like, if I ever had stress in the past, of like, where's my life going? Just get to work, just get to work. That will really help you, okay? So it's about doing the work instead of like, some of you are distracted by the idea of your destiny, that you're not looking, you're not being present, right? It's like, I'm getting this vision of you're walking down a path and it's like, you're focused on your destiny. So you're stepping on snails, you're stepping on squirrels, you're, you're literally killing animals and insects, but Meanwhile, if you could just forget about your destiny for a second and focus on the task at hand, I'm not saying don't plan for long goals, but if you could just focus on the task at hand, you would see the snail and you would just take a step to the side and you wouldn't kill the snail. So take that as it resonates. In your advice from your spirit guides, Gemini, you have the two of wands, you have the two of swords, and you also have the four of wands here and the advice from your spirit guides. So... I don't know. I feel like there's something that you don't want to look at here. The two of swords and the advice. This also could be you're meant to, you're meant to block out a certain reality here. Um, you know, for a lot of you who are, who are, who are really changing your physical life, maybe this is career manifesting something big. Cause that's what I'm getting here. A big upgrade, like becoming something that you've always wanted to be. You need to stop paying attention to the reality and really get back to the fundamentals of manifestation. This is very crucial coming in. I really hope you're paying attention for a lot of you. The two of wands to the two of swords. This is ignoring what reality is like and instead focusing more on um, your ideal vision. Now, this is going to sound completely contradict. It's going to sound like a complete contradiction to what I just said about getting to work, but reality is not, oh, here's the manual one, two, three, four, go to your end goal. There's nuance. And this is what really holds people back is understanding the nuance. So on one level, you're going to have to get to work, put the blinders on and just do the work instead of focusing on your end goal. But when the day's work is done, for me, the two of wands is about visualization and the two of swords is about ignoring something. So in other words, I had to, in order to, just to give you a concrete example, like in order to get a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube, when I had zero subscribers, I had to ignore the reality of zero subscribers and think, feel, and act like I already had a hundred thousand. So if you want to be an author, think, feel, and act like you already, you're already the best selling author. You can't shift to a lifeline where you're a best selling author when all of your thoughts and your energy are surrounded about lack. You need to brainwash yourself for the success. But the problem with brainwashing yourself for the success is it's going to perceivedly in your mind take away from what you've already built. And I understand what you've already built. Like this could be the situation I'm in in like 10 years from now where it's like, of course, I feel like I'm a, I'm a lifer with the tarot, but there's always new things to do. This is crazy. I'm sorry. I just, I have to say what's coming through and it's hard for me to keep up with sometimes. Um, but I know that it's resonating. You also have the four of wands and the advice. So once I said, looping back to the beginning of this reading, there's some sort of smoothness that's going on in your reality, but it's almost like, because it's the end of something that the universe just wants to tie the knot very smoothly with certain people, with certain love, with certain career things. <laughs> Hope this is making sense, Gemini. Let's go ahead and clarify why, first of all, the hanged man is here. You have a ton of major, I mean, not a ton. You have three very crucial major arcana cards or four. You have the hanged man, temperance, strength in the world. Yeah. Why is the hanged man here in uh, your opportunity, Gemini? Let's go ahead and see why it's here in your opportunity for the next three months. All right, the hanged man is clarified by the knight of wands and also the three of swords here. Yeah, so you're there's really some sort of new adventure that you're going on that somehow is going to make you very uncomfortable is what I'm getting. The knight of swords to also the three of uh, swords here, or the knight of wands to the three of swords. Um, very interesting energy. You also have the knight of swords. Yeah, there's a sacrifice 
Gemini, that's really going to hurt your heart. This has to do with certain, I've been telling you for the last few months, certain soul family members who are not meant to travel to the next level of the video game with you, or they are meant to travel to the next level of the video game with you, but not in the way that they're in the current level. So there is going to be some sort of heartbreak. You know, you may have to sacrifice relationships. To, you, you need to get clear on your values as well. The Knight of Wands as well is just going after um, your goals with a little bit of a ruthless um, mindset. You know, that they say that genius or like no one ever achieved, achieved anything great by completely going by the book, right? And so I, what I'm getting, Gemini, is very crucial for you to understand. There's something that you've built. I'm not saying that it's been completely conventional, but whatever you have in your relationships, whether it's a business or you're, you're, you're doing something in your job, it's sort of conventional. And with the Knight of Wands coming out to the hanged man in your opportunity, no one ever achieved anything great through basically following a clear-cut manual. You're going to have to tear up the books, listen to your intuition, and understand that genius is basically a mixture of a little bit crazy. Like, there is no genius without a touch of madness. Let me say that again. There is no genius without a touch of madness. So you're going to be called to do something. I getting that people around you are going to view you as immature, like, you know, Gemini, why are you going off to do this? Why wouldn't you just stay? And it's going to bring into the question all of these things within yourself that are valid of loyalty, of questions of like, ah, fucking hell. All right, let's keep going here. Why is the, uh, let's go ahead and clarify why the world is here in your overall general energy. The world is like, you've really done something. I want to say congrats, like the universe is congratulating you here. Um, whether it's just the way that you treat people, like if, you've, if, you've, if you haven't achieved anything great in the mind of society, then it's like the way that you treat people has been on point. Like the, you're definitely doing something right, but there's a new level here for you, Gemini. Why is the world card here in your overall general energy? Why is the world card here in your overall general energy? The world card is clarified by the page of cups, by the nine of pentacles, and also by the ten of wands. You have now the ten of wands coming out twice here. This also has to do with an ending, the number ten. Cycle number nine here. So with the world, the page of cups, the nine of pentacles, and the ten of wands here, <clears throat> you're going to have to go in some sort of individual you're going to have to, if I could just like bl bluntly put it, you're going to have to do something a little bit off the wall, immature. The Page of Cups is someone who can't really be categorized. So the next level that you're moving into, of course, it's going to require a certain level of discipline, but it's also going to require you to be super unconventional. That's why the Knight of Wands is there in your opportunity, the Queen of Wands in your challenge. You also have the Nine of Pentacles here uh, to clarify the world here. So... I feel like you're moving into a new level of abundance as well, but you might have to do it alone. There's something about you going alone, like Albert Einstein, a vision of Albert Einstein, like the app, the apple or Newton, whoever the fuck it is, sitting under the tree and the apple hits them on the head. They're alone. They're not with people. And you also have the 10 of wands here with the world. So um, with that energy being there in your overall general energy, there's definitely an ending. It might feel like a lot for you, like, oh my God, I can't believe this is coming to an end, or oh my God, I can't believe I have to let this go to put my energy into something else. But here's the thing. It might be a little bit uncomfortable for you to be a little bit unconventional, for you to be a little bit more individualistic, and for you to put an ending to something that feels like a lot. But what is the alternative? Probably not satisfactory to your soul or mind. So, or maybe your mind actually, but let's go ahead and see why the queen of wands is here in your challenge. Why is the queen of wands here in your challenge? Um, I also get a lot of like forgiveness. Like what I'm talking about smoothness, there's a certain element, Gemini, of smoothness for the next three months. Um, I'm getting that you might just decide to like gradually end relationships, but it's instead of like Instead, here's the thing, like here's also a tip, a pro tip from my heart to yours about how to deal with human relationships. Never slam any doors shut. If you want to end a relationship with someone, it's better to not just like, and maybe this is a little bit weird and you might not agree with it, but you don't want to just be like, hey, we're done, bye, like slam door, because then you might create an enemy and you didn't even know it, or you might create resentfulness in the other person. What you do is you just gradually free make your interactions with them less frequent. 
instead of slamming a door, okay? That's what's going on. That's basically what's going on. Less frequent activity. It doesn't even have to be said. It has to be action. Like never win, never try to win through argument, always win through your action. So I'm not saying you have to win against anyone, but it's like, if you want to disconnect from someone for your highest good and the path that's opening up for you, you don't have to be like, hey, I'm disconnecting from you for my highest good because you're a piece of shit, low vibe, or you're not on my level where I'm going to. You just stop, you just be a little bit less frequent. Maybe that's what you have. Listen, there's a pro to con, a pro and a con to everything. So you do what you want to do. I'm just giving you what spirit's giving you. If you think that I have a green tongue during this reading, it might be because I'm drinking a matcha tea latte. All right. <laughs> Let's clarify why the uh, Queen of Wands is here. Two more shuffles. Why is the Queen of Wands here, Gemini, for you in your challenge for the next three months? The Queen of Wands in your challenge, Gemini, is clarified by the King of Swords, the Chariot, and also the Ace of Pentacles here. So there's a clear direction that you want to move in here. It's I'm telling you, it's either a, it's for a lot of you, it could be a new relationship, but I'm just getting it's like some sort of career move for a lot of you for the next three months at least. Your, your trouble is, is that you know exactly what you want, a lot of you. <laughs> you know exactly what cycle you're closing out. The King of Swords, Chariot, and also the Ace of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands in your challenge. Your problem is basically, how is this move going to impact what you've already set up in your life, basically? Because it's not, I, I'm getting that you know, you know what you want. And do you know that how much of an advantageous position that is to simply know what you want? So you might have to be a little bit less agreeable. And I don't know, Gemini, there's really a pro and a con to everything. I don't know. Um, you also might be like the King of Swords to the Queen of Wands. If you're in a relationship with someone, this could be a, a, a conflict between you and them and it, and you start to put more energy. I'm getting that you're going to be putting more energy into work and career and that somehow is a perceived negative thing for someone you're in a relationship with or it might actually take away. I mean, you know, that's something that I'm going through, Gemini. Like part of like what I'm, I'm actually in the process of like manifesting uh, like a new girlfriend, but then I'm like, so I like do career things and I'm like, is that better? Okay, you know, focus on the reading. Sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on you instead of me right now. Let's go ahead and clarify why the strength card is here and what you don't see coming because this has to do with the new physical direction that you're moving into. For some of you, this could be a new relationship if you're single. Um, yeah, you have the hierophant here. This could be worthiness of seeing yourself in a, a position of authority or letting go of some sort of authority like uh, let's see why the strength card is here. Why is the strength card here and what you don't see coming, Gemini, for the next three months? The strength card and what you don't see coming is clarified, Gemini, by the Page of Swords by the Page of Pentacles, it's also here, and you also have the Queen of Cups here. All right, so yeah, I mean, I really feel like there's a decision between love and work, love and work. Do you just kind of lay down and remain in the status quo? Because you have built something amazing. I'm getting with relationships, you really do have a soul tribe, a lot of you around you. If you're more so um, single and you don't have anyone around you, this is more of a question of your own emotional stability versus just being a little bit gritty, grit, and like cutthroat, like I just need to do what I have to do to get to where I'm at versus love. The love part for some of you with people around you is going to be like, oh my God, like me getting to work on something, the page of pentacles is really going to impact my love relationships. That's why the page of swords getting more information. What do I want to do? It's a tough decision with a strength card. For those of you who are single though, I'm not trying to push your buttons, but I just feel like you're not doing it because it's going to fuck your emotions up. Like, what do you think happened to my emotions the first day that I ever uploaded a tarot reading? Do you think I was just like, oh, perfect. In alignment with my destiny. No, it's fucking hard. So like, not anymore, but like at first, right? With anything you do. So 
Let's go ahead and clarify why this is here in your advice from your spirit guides, Gemini. Why is the Two of Swords here in the advice from your spirit guides? Ooh, and as I'm shuffling... As I'm shuffling the two of... Um, I said, why is the Two of Swords here in the advice from your spirit guides? And literally, like, magnetically... I don't know if you saw that on the screen, but the Four of Wands just peeked out. You really might have to make a decision to focus on what's really important to you for a period of time and like stop putting as many effort into your relationships. <laughs> Why is the two of swords here for you and your advice? Why is the two of... Yeah, there... There's a new direction here that you're really hesitant to go in. You have the fool to clarify the two of swords here, Gemini, in your advice from your spirit guide. So whatever is going to make you seem foolish is the direction that you're meant to go. Let me repeat that. Whatever direction that scares you a little bit, but you know it's for higher good, or you feel foolish because of the people around you, that's probably the direction you need to go. With that being said, I'm going to conclude this reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Best of luck to you, Gemini.